Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division 2 video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you a 2 versus 2 on the new map that came out with the latest DLC. I'm going to pronounce something like Shadultsa. I'm sure you guys can let me know in the comments so I can pronounce it right in the future. But we are going to be playing with the 84th Guards Rifles which is also one of the new free, free DLC divisions. I'm going to be joined by Yaxos on my team who's going to be playing with the 3rd US Armoured. I'm playing against T-34 and Kongi who are using the Panzerlehr and the 25th Panzer Grenadier. Let's get some troops down. This game's already been started for a little while but I had to sort out some settings since recently. It looks like there's been a patch that just reset everything on my end which is kind of irritating. I had to go through all of my settings again and set it all back up. But uh, what I'm probably going to do is play around an IS at some point. Probably in the middle. Uh, we will see. We'll push onto this hill. Yeah, I am getting intermittent lag. You'll see like it goes from really smooth to just randomly kind of laggy as well. Uh, let's see, we'll get some more guns down here. The elevation on this map's a bit weird. I'm trying to find out where the best place to put these units is. Put one there. And I might bring one up onto this hill as well. Yeah, we'll just put one in there. I'm going to bring the, uh, the KV-8S to this area. To cover the infantry that I've got going in here, we've got a couple of Separi, a couple of Gavadia going into these areas. Uh, so what else could we use? Probably some mortars. I could also use the PE-3. Definitely going to bring in a mortar though, I think. We'll bring in a mortar on the left-hand side. And I might bring in a KV actually to support the IS in the open. So we'll do that as well. And I'll bring in the commander at the start since... I'm actually struggling to spend all my points here. Need to make sure that I cover this area. So we'll just bring in some Gavardia that can ride up to one of these buildings. I might have a couple of Sepeli try and go for that spot. That might be a bit of a cheeky move to make, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, since this is actually a hill here, I'm going to bring in some recon. And we're going to put them in the windmill, probably best bet. That will give us really nice line of sight over this whole area. But I'm now ready when they are. Okay. Hopefully once the game's started, we'll stop getting this like weird intermi in intermittent lag. Lately there has been uh, quite a lot of issues with Still Division 2, which is quite disconcerting it's definitely put me and many off others off playing the game for a little while um and even like more recently the patch sort of resetting all my video settings and uh, also keybinds and all that stuff is frustrating as well not sure why that's happened it might actually be because i verified the integrity of my game cache because I was trying to get the replays working, old replays working with the flags. But I think um, they've only done that to replays of the previous patch. So what I mean by like that, that guys, is I really want to bring you guys more tournament content. But the reason I haven't been is because every time I start recording a tournament or whatever, a new patch comes out and then the old matches lose the conquest flags so these flags here don't appear and to me that's really annoying and to you guys I, I would feel it's annoying as well because you can't really see very well what's going on on the map you, know, you can't I can't if that flag doesn't exist how are you supposed to know that it's being captured by the enemy for example so that's really frustrating uh, to play around and um, well it looks like I might have to unload this early well or just let it die um, yeah that's it's really kind of frustrating so I've been put off recording or starting recording a tournament because I know that I'm not going to be able to finish it and to me like completing tournaments like that is pretty important I don't just want to do one or two games and have no context you know I like to, to build up the story of the tournament over multiple tournaments right or multiple matches sorry but you can't do that if uh 
the other replays get spoiled by you know an update which is something that they're trying to fix which is good I have uh, given that feedback to the dev team uh, but more recently going back to my verifying the integrity of the game cache I was hoping that they'd fixed it and it was just a, a uh, thing on my end but it seems as though they've only managed to make it work for the previous patch so far so uh, that's what we're working with um, of course this is a live gameplay so <laughs> I'm gonna actually bring in a couple of 45 mils because we've got quite a lot of tanks here I'm currently pushing through these trees trying to make a bit more ground. Uh, we have found some Fel Gendarmerie, which is great. I'm going to turn off these... Oh, actually, let's turn them back on. Well, that looks like that'll be fine. Uh, the IS is going to be taken on a Panzer III. My KV-8. Also helping out. Uh, those need a fall back. I mean, this Stern Pioneer is probably going to end up killing both of my units here, unless this grenade goes off. Okay, we're good. That is fine. Okay, right, we can recover now. As long as that's the party doesn't run too far. I'm going to bring in the last of my KV-8S's here. The whole beginning of this uh, engagement is all about the IS-2, and if we lose the IS-2, well, we're in a bit of a pickle. I might just move forward these uh, 45mm AT guns aggressively, actually, right next to the IS. Mm, that shoot to knockout kind of sucks. I'm going to try and reverse the IS. And drive a knockout now. Okay, the Puma's dead, we killed a Panzer three. Uh, it's just the uh, the Panther causing issues. That is fine. Alright, there is a bunch of tanks here. Looks like a bunch more Panzer threes. Uh, I'm gonna have my KV move around and hopefully engage those. We do have the OB engaging them from up top, that's nice. Maybe worth actually having that reloaded, because it seems to be in a quite nice position there to cover that left hand side. Oh, that's a solid kill. And uh, these AT guns dealing with the Panzer threes nicely. Don't have very big penetration, but that's okay. Make sure we bring in our P3. Because that's probably a JU87, I would assume. I'll bring in an IL. Actually, it's a Fuck Wolf. Okay. Or the pilot injure. That's not good for him. Not good at all. That IL-2 got on the back of that Focal very quickly. Wow. Right, so we're just going to attack move around the corner there with the KV-8S. There's one tanky Focal. <laughs> right, let's bring my IL-2 across here. And we're going to try and pop those Panthers. Ah, oh, never mind. There's two. Oh, actually, we might get it. Oh, we got both of them. And there's two Gepards there. Wow. That is a solid couple kills. Incredible stuff. Okay. That's really good for us. Really, really good, actually. It looks like he's trying to bring the Fog Wolf to shoot down the IL-2, but if the IL-2 gets away, well, that is one hell of a trade. I'm probably just going to bring in a second P-3 to just help this dogfight out. That's incredible. Um, was not expecting that to go so well, especially when I spotted those two Gepards, but there we go. Right, we should be able to shoot this down, especially if he's retreating in a straight line. Yeah, finally. I will have those leave. Brilliant. That's fantastic. Right, we can bring the KV up here to support this push. Uh, we'll hit the Pioneer Fjordar here with all we got. I should hopefully capture these flags. Right, we're going to mortar this area as well. 
my flags under our command. Let's bring in a couple more Sapati here. And my IS-2 is safe for now. Right, let's uh, bring this round. We'll fix up the transmission damage. I can have the KVs move forwards. It's still phase A. It's probably not going to have another Panther. So we can definitely exploit this. We had a very, very good start here. These IL-2 37 mils are fantastic sometimes. They really are. If I drive to the edge, uh, we should be able to get a line of sight onto the cave or the Panzer 3s. I'm tempted to bring in the PE3s to... Oh, that's actually a Panther. Okay, so he's got the Command Panther in Phase 8 as well. Which is surprising because he's not playing a Vanguard division. So I didn't expect him to have that many tanks available, but oh well. We will see. Let's just uh, get these into cover. I'm going to move this around to attack those SPWs. That's fine. We can engage that Gepard. That's exactly what we want to do. And I can keep moving forwards with the Gavardia on this side. I'm going to bring in some more Gavardia. We're actually going to bring in the... Actually, we'll move this command up. And uh, on the left-hand side, I'm probably going to have to bring in a couple AT guns or something. Unload the Sepadi early. I'm watering the panther. Okay. Let's move those back. And I'll probably get this uh, KV to feed across. I'm just gonna get the APCR up on that uh, on those AT guns as well. Right? Did we? find ourselves those recon vehicles. Mm, this isn't going to go well for us, unfortunately. Yeah, that KV was too exposed there. I guess one thing I can do is uh, just unload these, have one go and deal with the Panzer III, we'll have one try and kill some of those 20 more half-tracks. This KV-8 hopefully will score a shot onto the Panzer III, not going to, unfortunate. I'm going to start moving forwards my commander. Oh, he's found that. That's unfortunate. Go to uh, standard rounds so we can get the kill. We'll bring in a couple more infantry. Take that back. Lovely. It's one down. I gotta be pretty careful with the IS engagement here. But I'm not sure if we killed one of the Gepards, but if we did, I don't think we did. I was gonna say if we killed one, we might be able to go for the kill onto the Panther D, but I might be able to fly out wide and attack that anyway. Now we're not doing well at the moment. We have a lot of ground, but just not the points. We need to capture these ones. I'm just going to bring up a load of those there. That will support any push we make. Oh, that Panther D is pretty blind at the moment. Okay, good. Do the kill. Very nice. That AT gun hasn't revealed itself, otherwise I would have started firing back. So he's suffering from lack of infantry support, really. Uh, nothing really we can exploit though because the Panther's like just in a really nice place there. I guess I could maybe move the IS forwards. Well, let's unload that. Bollocks. Not good. Not good at all. Right, let's move this one forwards. Try and contest that point. 
Oh, okay, that stops the bleed a little. Gonna try and hit the Panther here with the IS-2. Uh, since we're moving into phase B, we can grab the uh, IS-2 1944s. So I'm gonna bring one of those up to engage that Panther on the ridge, and we'll bring another one in to uh, support the push into the town. And this is really like where we're gonna be powerful, so we've gotta try and exploit this where we can. I can bring the Sepadi LPO to help push into this point, and I'm also gonna need some more infantry to push into here since we let those two units die. Not my finest hour, but we're doing all right. We've, we're in a good position to start putting pressure onto the points. Uh, Panzerlehr might give us a bit of trouble in the late game, but we'll see. If we can keep our IS-2s alive, then we should be okay. All right, good. Then Pioneer taken care of. When did we get that kill? Where's the pan the panther gone? I think that's him right there. Alright, so the way I'm going to do this, we're going to reverse as far as I can. There we go. Now we're going to be able to fire without him seeing us. There we go. Simple as that. Boom. Oh, do need to be careful <laughs> with my KV. Yeah, that sucks. That was a bad engagement for us. We'll use the IS to take out the Jagdpanzer and then we should be okay. Uh, let's move this 45 mil forwards with the Sepuri, and uh, we should be able to kill the AT gun there. Uh, I do need eyes on the Panther on this side. I'll go on IS. Like one hit on target, and that's so dead. Oh, come on. You have 66% penetrate or hit chance, and now 86%, and you're missing? <laughs> right, maybe the, uh, the KV can get the job done, who knows. We should probably use our mortar, actually. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> I'm going to hit that Panzer three, And uh, we are going to hit those mortars. Actually, let's just go straight for the mortars. Uh, okay. Never mind. Alright, time to bring in a few T-34s to help us break through here. I'm going to have some come over here as well. And we'll get our infantry in. No, I think this division could very much suit a Maverick playstyle, but I think it's very difficult to justify using Maverick at the moment because of the way that the points are. Like 80 points in phase C, it's just really lackluster. Oh, those are party LPO, they're so good. I actually don't have any uh, anti air, <laughs> we should uh, bring some in. Especially if I'm going to have this just hanging about. 
I didn't even go for the Gepard kill itself. Not really a hard ask for an IL-2, to be honest. Oh, this needs to fall back. Not really being engaging a uh, Jagd Panzer there. See, we'll move the uh, IS-2 into position because the Panther's there somewhere. I just haven't spotted it yet. I really want to kill these uh, 257s. Oh, nice! We killed the. Uh, We killed the AA. It's fantastic. Oh no! How can we lose eyes? It's so tragic. So tragic. Alright, well, for some reason we don't we don't have sight from, from the IS onto the panther, so the panther's just killing all of my tanks for the moment. We'll try and shoot it in the back. There we go. Job done. Alright, the T-34s are pushing through. That's good. We're going to capture a lot of points here. Because he's very reliant on these uh, high-cost tanks. And we're just getting so much value at the moment from the uh, IL-2s. Not contesting the air. Maybe uh, giving us a bit too much space. These P3s aren't actually that good. But it looks like there is AA now. We'll make sure to uh, get out of there. Uh, well, yeah, we can play quite close here, I think. Uh, a lot of his infantry hasn't so far had AT, so we'll, we'll try and exploit that. Alright, just pushing forwards. Also, I can't really play at long range against the Panzers, so I'm gonna have to make sure we stay on top of that. We've set up a really nice position here. I'm actually gonna move the AA up. Uh, we'll start rolling forwards the infantry guns as well. Oh shit, I think that's um Panzerstrike squad, so we'll make sure to mortar that position as we fall back. Move forwards to Superli. Looks like those Cavalli are going to lose their position there, which is fine. <laughs> wow, we're like right next to this Yag Panzer, and he can't even see us. He's so blind right now. That is ridiculous. There's no infantry support at all. They can't see shit. Wow, an ambush. Very nice. Alright, we're in phase C, uh, which things I think are going to get a bit hairy, uh, but we will see. I'm actually tempted to bring in this up on the hill. And we'll bring in some artillery for counter battery, so like the 122mm uh, A19s would be really good for counter battering the um, mortars that he has. So we'll use those. Bring in a couple more infantry to secure this area. I'm also going to bring in uh, a couple of Strafniki just for a bit of substance. And we need to make sure that we're covering this. So I'm going to move the IS-2 over to the left. Now we do have this IS-2 as well, actually. We'll allow that to use the road. I uh, should be able to get line of sight onto the uh, SDKs there, but we need some more infantry for the town actually, so we'll go ahead and push into that. I'll just bring in some standard Gavardia here, we'll just really hammer that home. Okay, great. Now uh, this IS can just use the road and push through and attack the Tiger. All good. 
Right, let's move the AT guns forwards. We, I think we cleared out whatever was in there. Hope so. Okay, there goes the Yacht Panzer. The IS-2 is going to probably take out the pack 40. I would hope. There goes the Tiger. Very nice. We are pushing hard. Very hard. Right, let's get the T-34s to engage now that most of the other stuff's dead. Uh, I need to make sure that the Zipali stay back. We've got some more coming in. Uh, let's just bring in some more infantry here. Well, that is a Panzer III. Nothing to worry about there. Alright, gotta be uh, careful with this tiger. Please stop and fire. The incendiary hit. Oh, that's nasty. Lost our command. You're just going to be constantly bringing in tigers onto this hell, but we've got like multiple IS-2s to engage them. That's going to be pretty sickening. A lot of kills inbound. Uh, the Panzer Vernichtung's there. Yeah, they're causing issues. Uh, Strafniki can just unload and go through these trees. I'm hoping that like a combination here could get the trick, the job done, sorry. Uh, let's see. I wonder if he's actually going to bring in a fighter this time. Yeah, he did. Okay. Well, not going to stop it. I'm just going to turn into the Vokka Wolf if I can. Oh no, the AA is going to shoot him down. Ah, never mind. We will just leave. And these guys, they need to unload and just push in now. Oh, there goes the machine guns. Ah, let's just uh, put down some modifier there. Okay, job done on this side. Let's get the rest of my IS-2s in here. We actually ran out of uh, AP shells. Almost ran out of AP shells on our IS-2 there, actually. That one's only got two shots left. And so we just hammered this right side home. This has a really nice view on this hill. Uh, if we move it forwards a little bit, it would be even better. Well, looks like the enemy has given up. And that is going to be a victory for us. Is fantastic. That was uh, pretty good. Unless this guy doesn't want to give up, in which case we'll just keep playing. <laughs> um, but we are in a very dominating position here. I wouldn't have been surprised if you wanted to. I think T-34 is the one who actually lost his side. Although, saying that, Yak Source has done a good well of securing, uh, uh, done a good job, sorry, of uh, securing the objective on the left hand side. Um, but yeah, maybe like late in, late, late in the game, the Panzerleck can come back pretty hard, so maybe he's thinking about that. But it really does depend if they can break down my IS-2s, which they haven't killed any of yet. We have both our 1944s alive, we've got the IS-2 Comrotti sitting there. I can just uh, reload that as well. My Gavardi are just free running forwards at the moment. I'm taking a bit of Mortifier, which is unfortunate. And that's a Panther 8. I'm going to struggle to penetrate the front timer of the 1944.
I think we played this almost exactly how I intended to build it. We just sort of built up, made sure we kept our IS-2s alive, and then in the late game when you have this many IS-2s, there really isn't much that your opponent's going to be able to do about it. We are just continuing the push forwards, trying to secure as many ob objectives as we can. We can just put the IS-2s into the mid now, capture back these points and so on. Bring in a few infantry there to support that push. And well, there goes a Panther three. Right, let's uh, move this back before it gets killed by the Panthers, because it's under a lot of pressure. He's pretty pinned at the moment. I'm going to try and draw that Panther into the fire of the other IS-2, and then we can drive back forwards and double team it. This is bringing more and more IS-2s at this point. Ah, there we go. He surrenders. 27 minutes and 33 seconds. That was a pretty, pretty strong game from the 84th Guards Rifles there. I think they do have quite a bit of longevity, but if you have a game that goes late into Phase C and you're losing IS-2s as you go, then I think this division can certainly have some issues. I think it's a division that can be very well suited to Maverick, but the availability of IS-2s is minimal in Phase A and B, and you can actually get six of those 1943s in Phase C, so doing so is pretty nuts. Especially when my IS-2 early on traded so well versus the Panthers, and the IL-2 was just not answered. I think T-34 thought that his two Gepards would be enough to stop an IL-2, but apparently it wasn't, and... Well, they really, really showed up, and he didn't have enough points probably to invest into, for example, Fogwall Fighter sooner, because they do cost, I think, 140 points, those Fogwall Fighters. So that would explain why he couldn't invest into it, especially when he was losing so much on the ground. Uh, we couldn't really push forwards any sooner than I did, I don't think, because of his investment into the armor, which really slowed down our infantry play. Uh, but as soon as we got the ball rolling, you saw that we took the ground very, very quickly, especially with the T-34s supporting us in B to push over those uh, light and medium tanks. But there we go. That's the gameplay with the uh, 84th Guards Rifles. It's good to have some uh, gameplay back on the channel. Uh, let me know in the comments, of course, if you enjoyed the video. Um, I do really appreciate all your support, guys. And apologies that I haven't been uh, getting the videos out as frequently recently on my uh, main channel. I have, of course, been putting up stuff on my Vulcan Total War channel, and I have still been streaming, so make sure to go check out twitch.tv slash VulcanHDGaming if you want to see uh, gameplay uh, of either Still Division 2 on the weekends, or I've currently been playing Witcher 3 in the week, uh, which is always good fun. So yeah, make sure to check out those. You can keep up to date on whenever the streams are on my community page on YouTube, as well as uh, Twitter, Facebook, and of course my Discord. There's links to all of those in the description. If you want to check out this division itself, that code in the description as well but that's it thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye